Hello guys, I'm Emmanuel, and I'm finally back to review a kaiju movie. Yes, I'm finally going to review another kaiju movie. But this time, I'm going to review one of my least favorite kaiju movies, but not technically the worst one. It's Reptilicus, a Danish-American monster movie created by Sega Studio and distributed by American International Pictures. And it has two different directors, one is from Denmark and one is from the USA. Uh, the one in the USA is actually by Stickney Pink, and the other is by Paul... Yeah, I can't remember his name, but I think it's Paul or something. So, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the plot of this movie, and I'll explain why this movie is so, kind of so bad, it's decent kind of way. Or my, why my opinions have changed. Well, let's get, let's, get this to the, let's get to the plot already. The plot's about a miner who stumbled across some kind of reptilian skin... And then when trying to examine it in, in the capital of Copenhagen of, of Denmark, they realized when the when they left the 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 freezer open, the creature begins to like to like melt and it begins to grow. Robert Wright. Fascinating scientists across the world, including the USA. What do you expect? And then when the monster when the during the night the monster begins to grow. And it begins to go on a rampage throughout Denmark, including the countryside of Denmark and, be, and including the capital itself. It's off, and it's often the military to stop that creature before it destroys Denmark. What do you expect? And that's the end for this movie. Yeah, a typical monster movie. That's what do you expect from it? And yeah, I'm gonna explain my opinions about this movie and well, how my opinions have changed over the year over the years. Months or whatever. I have like three separate opinions about this movie. The first one Sim mentions that this movie is great, but then the second movie says this movie is fucking garbage. And then the third opinion, well, I'm gonna literally, I did up, I did, uh, did some kind of apologies for this movie for like mistreating it. I say this movie is, is so bad, it's decent. Yeah, you heard me. It's so bad, it's decent. And and I'm gonna say this, but this movie is slightly better than Godzilla's Revenge because at least it didn't have any stock footage in it. And yeah, the only thing I do not like about this movie is the ex the effects for the creature itself. I mean, look at that thing. It looks like it's about to fall apart, and it's little look like he's looks like he's like he's drunk. The the the, the kaiju itself. I mean, I get it that the people in Denmark are a fan of the creature. I mean, I respect them. No offense on Denmark. I do love Denmark as a country itself. But the kaiju for me, it's kind of mediocre. You heard me. It's kind of mediocre. The effects are... What should I say? So bad, it's decent kind of way? Yeah, I gotta say this. So bad, it's decent. <sighs> Is that there's some characters in the movie I literally forgot to mention because yeah there's some yeah the characters in the movie are kind of some of them are decent some of them are mediocre some of them are like really tiring to look at. There's some kind of there's a kind of a comedian guy named Ditch Passer I think. I mean, he played the role as the far the the janitor in the movie, and sometimes it can be sometimes it can be really funny in the movie. I mean, yeah, the same with the with the catfish. He's just like trying to put his hand in there and just like screams and just does uncomedic things in the movie. Also, I forgot to mention there's both cuts in the movie. What I mentioned before the intro of this video, the Danish cut and the American cut. Probably in my opinion, I think that the American cut is probably the, the superior of this of this movie, because. It makes it makes feel like the creatures look so gigantic, more menacing and more like threatening because yeah, it could shoot like shoot like slime all over the place, like it's shooting its atomic breath. Yeah, I do really appreciate the US version of trying to like trying to make this monster look threatening and well, yeah, I get it that the damage version trying to make this monster yeah more threatening as well, but it didn't shoot slime. It looks like it's like it looks completely dis in in some footage of this movie. I really real I realize that there's some parts of the movie make make feel that the monster looks so tiny or something. 
Yeah, I do not like a Danish cut of a Danish cut version of this movie, but it, I really respect the American version. Oh yeah, Forgotten is in the Danish version. There is like when when a janitor played by Ditch Passer was like seen I mean it's like to do some kind of musical number with the children about the Rotilicus. Yeah, you heard me. A fucking musical number about Rotilicus. Yeah, I did that that literally did caught me off guard because I did not realize that happened in the movie because I seriously did not realize that this movie is so kinda of like a comedy, well, only in Denmark, because the U.S. are trying to make this monster look serious and threatening, and the whole trying to make the movie more serious for American audiences. But I did not realize that the Damon, that the Danish cut literally has some kind of comedic moments in the movie, more, more comedic moments, not just in the U.S. version. Yes, U.S. version has some kind of comedic moments, but only a little. <clears throat> And well, yeah. I mean, ima imagine if there's a mo imagine there's a Godzilla movie and there's a guy there's a there's a military general singing a song to the children about Godzilla, and just talk about him and just how scary he is and etc. <laughs> yeah, probably would be fucking hilarious if you know what I mean. Yeah, you probably heard me. And well, my opinion of this movie has changed like three times like already. Yeah, I know. I know. I've really changed like three times. Why opinion about what to say about this movie? My opinions are like all over the place for the movie because it went from, oh, it's good, and then from, oh, it's bad, and then it says like combining both, it says it's so bad, it's decent. Yeah, you heard me. So bad, it's decent. And that's my whole opinion about this movie. So. You guys should give it a like, subscribe, and see you guys next time. See ya!